Hello, everybody. Welcome to Central Ohio Urology Surgery Center. We're here today to introduce our new Da Vinci robot, who we lovingly call Coogie Hauser. Hello, Dr. Avaza. Karina, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Uh, why don't you tell um, the members of our, our community what the benefit of this robot at coming to Kusk for um, any of the urological surgeries they might need. Yeah, we're so excited to share this with you because this is really cutting edge technology and we're really pioneering the idea of having robotic surgery in a surgery center. Uh, one of really the very first in the country to be able to do robotic prostate cancer surgery, kidney cancer surgery on an outpatient basis from our surgery center. And really the, the enabling factor is that we were able to acquire a Da Vinci XI robot, so the latest, greatest technology. Believe it or not, it's a $2.2 million piece of equipment. But the fact that we have it here in our surgery center means that we can offer these operations to our patients that they, in the past, traditionally had to have in the hospital. And now they can come in, have the surgery, and be going home within a couple hours of their operation. Patients much prefer to be at home with their family, sleeping in their own bed, eating home-cooked food, rather than being in a hospital. And anyone who's ever had to stay in a hospital knows that. Me? Yeah. All right. So, you know, it's incredible for me to hear this um, because I guess about 10, 15 years ago, I actually had a partial nephrectomy. So I, I needed one of those surgeries. And uh, back then I was getting cutting edge, uh, you know, care. It yep. was a laparoscope. And I was in the hospital for four days. I was in my late 20s and it took two to three weeks for me to go back to work. Oh, I wow. mean. I was, I was, you know, I was pretty You're tough sore. and fit, yeah. I thought. So compare that to what uh, yeah. what our, it, our community members are gonna experience. It, it's a dramatic difference. You know, the, the old fashioned way that we used to do these surgeries was literally to cut people almost in half. And I remember when I was in training, we learned how to do those operations and I always felt terrible for those patients. Yeah. And then when I saw them in the hospital for several days trying to recover from that, many times getting blood transfusions, taking high doses of narcotic medications. Yeah. Obviously, we know nowadays the dangers of opioid yeah. medications. Uh, you know, it's a night and day difference. So nowadays, even patients who are 70, 80 years old, you know, will come in here, have their surgery. And again, within a couple hours, they're up walking, they're going home, they're eating regular food. That's and amazing. most of our patients, believe it or not, most of our patients take Tylenol for pain after the wow. surgery. So most of them never end up having to take any narcotics, None of those strong, you know, dangerous opioid medications that we've heard all the dangers of nowadays. Uh, so again, it's a dramatic difference. And really the, the benefits of robotic surgery, minimally invasive robotic surgery are many, but what's changed now and what's really exciting for us is that now we've taken it from the hospital setting to now being able to do it in a surgery center where the patients never have to step foot in a hospital. So what I've been telling people, and it sounds kind of strange, but what I've been telling people is that we've taken cancer surgery and we've turned it into a day spa experience. Yeah, wow. So that intimidating experience of going into the hospital and all of these people coming in and out and being in this big giant room with all these patients that you know are going to be having surgery that day and wondering what that guy's gonna have and what that guy's gonna have. Yeah. You know, that experience and then rolling back into the OR past all these other operating rooms and all these surgeons going back and forth and. And then in the recovery room, you know, you're in this big room with all these people who are moaning and groaning because they just had surgery. You know, that whole experience now is behind us. Now it's a personalized experience. You know, patients come in, we, we're expecting them, we know them by name. You know, we escort them to their bay. Within an hour, they're back in the operating room. Two hours later, they're in the same place recovering. And then within a couple hours, they're on their way home, back with their family, you know, to, to recover at home. So. We're so excited to be able to offer this to our patients. Again, we're pioneering this. We're one of the first in the country to be able to do this. And we're going to be teaching others how to do it. We just had a group, for example, from out of town that was visiting us that want to replicate this and do it in their hometown. And we're expecting that we're gonna have a lot of other groups coming in to learn how to do this in their surgery centers. And my prediction is that within 10 years, this is how all of this surgery will be done. That the majority of patients will no longer have to go to a hospital to have these operations done, they'll be able to get it in a surgery center and then recoup, recuperate, recover in the comfort of their own homes instead of a hospital. That's incredible. So, you know, thinking of holistic care and, um, you know, the entire patient experience is important. I know Absolutely. as a nurse, one of the things that I get concerned about, and I know our team here does, is cost. I mean, this robot was $2.2 million. Yeah. So is this a really expensive expensive endeavor for our patients? 
to come here? So it's actually better for the patients, believe it or not, okay. because when the patient has this same operation at the hospital, the patients are gonna end up paying more because the total cost, what the hospital is charging for these operations, can be as much as twice what we're charging. And so the patient's percentage, their insurance is gonna cover a portion and they're gonna be responsible for 10%, 20%, whatever their copay or their coinsurance is. So their percentage of that bill is gonna be much higher than what they would pay to have the surgery here. And obviously we're able to do it here cheaper because we're not paying all of that overhead cost that a hospital has to pay because that hospital might be doing brain surgery and transplants right. and all sorts of other things that you know their robotic surgery has to pay for a portion of that. We don't have all that overhead. So we're able to do these robotic surgeries at a much cheaper cost, sometimes half of what the cost is at the hospital so that the patient's percentage of that and what they end up having to pay out of pocket is much less. All right, so better care, you get to be at home, yeah. you get to eat the food you like, yeah. and it costs less. Any down, what's the downside? There's Why really wouldn't no everybody want to do this? I, I think, like I said, I think this is going to become the standard of care. We're, we're right on the cutting edge of it and we're pioneering it, but I really believe that this is going to be the way that we do these surgeries in the future. Excellent, all right, very good.